Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got my October BoxyCharm boxes here to share with you. So BoxyCharm did send these to me as PR, so thank you to them for sending these my way. So I've got the base box to show you. So they said they were sending me the base box. When I open this up, it does say premium on the inside of the box, like just the box itself, but it might just be sent in that for space because they said they were sending me the base box. So I've got that one to show you. And then I also have this special Tarte Premium box to share with you. So fun. So I have done like I normally do in these videos. I've gone ahead and opened up these boxes. I've tried out the goodies inside. I'm wearing a bunch of the products. So I can kind of give you some little mini reviews and first impressions on these products. I like to do that in these videos. So yeah, if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome, I love to do unboxings, favorites videos, new at the drugstore, get ready with me's reviews, empties, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about BoxyCharm boxes, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's just jump on in. Here is the card. Um, I'm starting with this box, this one right here. So not the tart one, the other one. Okay, so there is the little card. First off, I got a hair product. This is the Playa Manoy Milk Leave-In Conditioner. This retails for $24. It says that it helps to tame frizz and heals damage. Um, deep conditions, the coconut milk in it, deep conditions promoting strength, shine, and softness. It says you can use it on wet or dry hair to detangle and seal the hair follicle to lock in moisture, restore luster, and diminish frizz. So I did use this on my hair today um, when it was damp before I blow dried it. Now I have very fine hair and I typically do not use leave-in conditioners because it can tend to kind of weigh down my hair. And I do feel like my hair is looking, I mean my hair always kind of looks flat because <laughs> I have fine flat hair. I mean it just is what it is. So I don't know. I kind of feel like I would have to be light-handed with this product. I love the scent of it. It has a really nice sprayer on it. Kind of has a milky sort of a scent to it. I, I was trying to think of how to describe it, but it's just kind of like almost a creamy sort of a scent to it. It's it's light. It's not overpowering. So I love the scent on it. Pretty packaging to it. There's the lid. <laughs> Pretty packaging. Um, yeah, and I mean, I do think it helped to detangle my hair. I would just have to kind of use it very sparingly just because my hair is so fine. But if you have more kind of normal to coarse hair, I think you would really like this. You wouldn't have to probably go as light handed with it. I think it's a good product though. Then I got an eye cream. This is from Fleur and B. This is the Eyes Eyes Baby. Um, and this retails for $26. It's an eye cream that will awaken your eye area by helping to firm your skin and reduce the appearance of dark circles, wrinkles, and puffiness. That's all the things I want in an eye cream. So I did try this out last night, and this is a very thick eye cream. So if you're looking for a really kind of emollient, super hydrating, thicker sort of an eye cream, I think you would really like this. If you're looking for something a little bit lighter and more gel-like, you know, this is, this is definitely more of a thick kind of a, a formula to it, but definitely very hydrating feeling. Um, little bit goes a long way. I used too much last night, so I learned that you don't need a lot of product, just use very little, but it did feel nice and hydrating. Um, just a really nice kind of rich sort of an eye cream. Next I got a primer. This is the Dew of the Gods Tahitian Breakfast Dewy Collagen Primer. This retails for $32. It says it has plant and fruit extracts that are blended into a dewy milky serum to tone and prime your skin for the next stage of your routine. Do, 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 do. Basically, you know, helps your makeup to glide over it or you can bask in the glass skin glow that lasts all day long. This packaging is adorable. I love this box. This smells good. Let me show you that. Look how cute this is. That's adorable. I love, love, love this packaging. And it smells really good. I don't know how to describe it. Like, kind of like banana maybe? This is what it looks like. And it's not overly dewy, honestly. That's what I found when I put it on my skin. I like it. I was, because I'm not usually a big fan of a super dewy primer. This is kind of a really soft glow and it didn't feel like heavy or tacky on my skin. Really has a nice feeling to it and does help prep the skin for makeup. I feel like my makeup applied really nicely over the top of it. So I really like this. It's kind of right in here. It just is, it's, if you're going for a super glowy primer, this may not be enough glow for you. But for me personally, 
this is the kind of level of glow I like where it's just kind of pretty looking on the skin but not um, wet looking or something like that. So I'm a big fan of this. I like the look of it on the skin. I like the feel of it. I like the texture and I like how my makeup went on on top of it. Y'all know I get excited about palettes. There are a couple of palettes in here. I'm so excited. So first off is this one. This is a highlighter palette. So this is from uh, Tres Luce Beauty and this is the Lucette. Lucette? Highlighter palette. This retails for $26. It says it will help you achieve a lit from within glow, vitamin E and Mexican blue agave deliver a unique softness as you layer on each shimmering shade to create the most illuminated look. So I do have this up on my cheekbones. I have one of the shades there and then I have one of the shades on the inner corners of my eyes. Here's what the packaging looks like. Just kind of a nice sturdy cardboard sort of a packaging. There is a mirror in there. Here are the four different colors. So I have this one on my cheekbones and then this one on the inner corners of my eyes, but I will swatch all of them. They're a nice big size to them. So you get a lot of product, it looks like. So here are the swatches. Very, very pretty. Now these are not overly metallic or over the top. These are kind of a softer, um, everyday kind of a highlighter where I feel like this is very versatile and a very usable highlighter. You know what I mean? You can apply it really lightly and just get a soft glow or you can build it up and get a little bit more, but you're never gonna get that kind of over the top highlighter look. More of just that really pretty, flattering, but really beautiful highlighter look. So I think this is really pretty. You get a kind of lighter shade, almost like an icy white, kind of a rose gold, more of a peachy golden, and then more of kind of a yellow golden shade there. So kind of a good mix of different tones. This is pretty. And last up, I got an eyeshadow palette. I accidentally got cleansing oil on that one when I was wiping off the swatch. So don't mind that. Very pretty packaging. This is the Ciate London Spice palette. Here is the outside box. Here is the palette itself. Very nice packaging on it. And then let me show you the color story inside. How pretty. So very kind of, um, like wine, burgundy, warm, rusty sort of colors in here. Really pretty. Got some metallic -y shades and then some really beautiful mattes. So I do have this on my eyes right now along with another palette I'll share in just a second. So here it is. It says it's a new launch. It retails for $39. It says it has highly pigmented metallics and mattes that work seamlessly with neutral mattes to add an epic spice to any makeup look. This is pretty. I honestly feel like the swatches aren't as good as they seemed on my eyes. Like some of them seem almost a little bit patchy. I didn't have any kind of blending problems or patchiness on my eyes. So I would say if any of them look kind of patchy here, I didn't experience that on my eyes. I think this is a beautiful palette. The mattes were really nice and blendable. The metallics are gorgeous. So light catching. So I'm trying to think. I think I have this one on kind of the inner corners of my eyes. I have this one kind of more on my lid, a little bit of this on the outer corner. I was tried to, trying to use like so many shades from this one and the other palette I tried just so I could kind of get them all on my eyes and see what I thought. So I'm a big fan. I think this is a really nice palette and I'm very excited it was in there. Okay, so I just added up the value of that box and it's $118. Awesome value. I really am pleased with this box. I mean, of course the color cosmetics are my favorite things, but this was really kind of a shocker. I really, really like this primer too, but overall great box. And then so excited about this Tarte box. So fun. I'm a huge fan of Tarte. I love their stuff. So I was really excited about this. First off, I had never tried this, at least not that I can remember. This is the Tarte C Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. And this retails for $39, so it's a moisturizer. It is a vegan daily gel moisturizer. Um, it's powered by electrolytes, helps to hydrate for a healthy, youthful glow while helping soften and plump the skin's appearance. Helps keep the skin moisturized for 24 hours uh, with this lightweight, non-greasy, water-based gel formula. This is amazing. I love this. And I mean, just in general, but particularly for a daytime under makeup moisturizer because this is so light and nice. A little bit goes a long way with it. You do not need a lot. I used too much initially. It's just such a nice light texture to it. Oh my goodness. It feels so kind of like watery. 
It has this herbally sort of a scent to it that is so nice. I'm a huge fan of this. Love how it feels on the skin. The skin does feel hydrated after you use it, but not tacky or gross or heavy feeling. Just very kind of light, perfect for under makeup. Then I got a dual ended. This is the Double Take Awake Micro Liquid Liner and Brightener. This retails for $25. It says it's infused with mineral pigments and clay for all day wear, rich black liner and creamy matte universal neutral gel liner in this two in one product combine, why did I get stuck on that? Combine to create bigger, brighter, and more defined eyes. It has a micro felt tip liquid liner. Uh, let's say da, 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 without skipping. Creamy gel eyeliner instantly brightens eyes to fake a full night's sleep. So I do have this on right now. I do not normally wear liner in my waterline, just in general, any color. And I don't really ever do the neutral kind of nude color there, but I went ahead and did it just to try it out. Um, and if you like this sort of look, it worked well. Like it didn't drag on my eyes. It didn't tug. It's a nice kind of gel sort of soft, um, feeling to it. So it just really doesn't pull on the eyes, which is ideal. You don't want it to pull on your eyes. When I first looked at the, the liquid liner side, I like the, like how tiny it is, but it, at first I was like, uh Oh, it's a gel. It's that, um, felt tip sort of into it, which normally I'm not a huge fan of. I like kind of more of the, like in between a bendy brush and a felt tip. And actually this ended up being in the middle. Like it is more, it kind of initially, the texture of it feels like a felt tip liner applicator, but then it has a little bit more bend than a typical felt tip liner um, applicator. So I like it. I mean, it applied well, it's nice and rich and black. I didn't have any trouble applying it. It's um, really pigmented. So yeah, if you're looking for this kind of a product, I mean, I, I think it works well. It seems like a good one. I also got the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara in here. I do have this on my lashes right now. I really like this mascara. Um, I've liked this for years, actually. It says it helps to volumize, volumize, <laughs> lengthen and curl lashes for an instant eye lift, 24 hour flake free and smudge proof wear, vitamin rich formula conditions with each coat, all while creating darker, more defined lashes. I like this mascara because I feel like it's very versatile and buildable. If you just apply one coat of it, it's a great kind of everyday mascara, but then it builds on itself really nicely. Like you can really get some good volume and length with this mascara, not like the most amazing volume and length, but still a good amount. And I like some volumized, thicker looking lashes. And this is still one of my favorite mascaras. I really do like the formula of it and kind of the versatility. And I've always really liked the packaging. I think that's nice. Then an eyeshadow palette. I was so excited to see this in here. So this is the Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette in Sunrise. Sunrise, here is the packaging on it. I will show you swatches in a second. Um, this retails for $30. It's a BoxyCharm exclusive. It says it's a palette of warm, matte, and shimmer finishes. It's infused with Amazonian clay. Yeah, you can mix and match to complement your makeup mood. So yeah, here it is. I do have this on my eyes today, like I said, along with the other palette. There is a nice mirror in here. Here's the color story on it. Very pretty. And then here are the swatches. Very, very pretty. I like the formula of these shadows. They applied well, they blended well. I will say, because I've used many Tarte shadows in the past, I feel like this formula seems slightly less soft and slightly less pigmented than other Tarte shadows that I have used. It kind of reminds me more of like MAC shadows, which I'm still a huge fan of. Like I really like MAC shadows. Just kind of the texture where they can kind of be more lightly applied or sort of built up. That's kind of what this reminded me of. Um, but still, I mean, really pretty. I'm a fan of it. It just seems kind of slightly different to me. But look how pretty those metallic -y shades are. Gorgeous. Those probably seem more like what I'm used to from Tarte, but the mattes seem just a little bit more kind of like a buildable sort of a formula. I love palettes. I love getting palettes in boxes, so I'm very excited about this. And last up, a cream blush and a lip product. I'm excited about these. These are so good. So this is the Tarte C Breezy Cream Blush, and this is in the shade Pink Sky. Pink Sky is the color that I got. 
and this retails for $24. Weightless waterproof cream blush, silky formula. You can apply it with your fingertips for a natural color that doesn't fade. Um, you can have that fresh, youthful appearance by minimizing the look of pores and fine lines while smoothing and hydrating the skin with Slip Grip Technology, powered by marine plants, coconut, and sodium hyaluronate. I don't know if I said that right, but this is so pretty. I love the packaging on it. That is beautiful. So I do have this on right now. This is one of my favorite products throughout these two boxes. This is so pretty. The formula is amazing. It is just so blendable, pigmented, but not difficult to blend and work with, not patchy. I feel like the swatch is looking kind of patchy, but it isn't, well, no, that smoothed out. Cause I'm like, it was not patchy at all on the cheeks. It just applied so nicely. It was like pigmented right off, but not difficult to blend, but then I can build it up even more. This is a really pretty, just kind of neutral mauve sort of a shade. Gorgeous. I love this. So huge fan of this. One of my favorite products in here, probably, well, up there. And I, but I really love the eyeshadow palettes too. So anyway, I'm battling. And then I also got a lip product and I think I've had this one before this particular color. I think I already have this, but it's one of my very favorites. So I was excited to get it again. Um, this is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm and it retails for $21. I got the shade Orchid. I do have this on right now with a liner. So I will do a swatch of just this by itself in just a second. It's an all-in-one vegan balm, gloss, color, and treatment. It, it features 10 plus antioxidant rich fruits to smooth and nourish. Um, it has the Cushion Comfort Complex to instantly plump and smooth the appearance of pesky lip lines. It has a mirror shine formula that's always comfortable, never sticky, and smells like coconut. So, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say sticky, but it is a thicker, more emollient sort of a formula to it. This is what it looks like, and it has kind of the click up sort of a packaging to it. Orchid is this beautiful, just neutral shade. It's gorgeous. I just love it. So shiny and glossy, very flattering looking on the lips, really nice and hydrating looking, hydrating feeling, smoothing on the lips. These are amazing. I've, I've really, really enjoyed the ones that I've had of these and Orchid, I, I'm almost positive is the color that I have um, already that I love. So I will probably just carry around this one in my purse because that's so pretty. It's just gorgeous. I love this. So I was very excited to get this in here. Okay, I just added up the value of that box and it's $163. So amazing value on that box. I'm a huge fan of it because I'm impressed with these products just after trying them, but also I just love Tarte in general. I really like the products that they come out with. So yeah, if you want to sign up for BoxyCharm, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. If you subscribe to BoxyCharm, I would love to know what you got in your box or what you're excited to get. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.